playing the game or oh patriots cookbook oh 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 is that what i think it is yes okay there is a point in uh, really soon in the game where you have to have a explosive check of 25 that means you have to have your explosive skills up to 25 or better and my explosive skills right now is at 10 so there's no way that I can... There is a way if I use all my skill points when I level up. I'll show you that in a while anyway. Next time I level up, or when I do level up. Um, but in only two of my playthroughs in the last couple of weeks when I tried to start this thing that I found that explosives book. That explosives book, all I have to do is get my explosive skills up to 15 and then i could take that book and i could pass that explosive check that's coming up pretty soon in the game if you n notice what i'm doing here i'm going around to all of the mailboxes because the mailboxes have these magazine a lot of times they have these magazines in them that'll bring your skill points up when you need them so i'm kind of raiding the town a little bit at the start of the game um mostly just to get those mostly just to find that freaking uh, explosives book that I just found. So I don't really need too many more of them. I need a repair book at the beginning. I don't I know. I think my repair is high enough. Okay, I already checked that one. I need a repair of 25 to open up that um, or to fix that gun that's in there, but I'll get that the first time I level up. All I need is one point for that and the science skill for that chemistry set. It's mostly just that explosives book that I was looking for. So that's cool that I found that. First person I want to talk to when I'm in here is the robot. He's, he's up right there right now. I can see him up on that hill. I'm going to wait till he comes back down because I don't want to go up there yet. That's the graveyard. I found a lot of stuff in that mailbox. Um, he doesn't tell you much. But it's good to get it out of the way. That says keep out up there, I think. Don't go that way. Bad stuff will kill you at the beginning of the game if you go up that way. Um, I already checked that one, right? Yeah. If you go on the other side of the graveyard, over that hill, and over that way, bad stuff will kill you. So don't do that too early in the game either. Okay, he's coming down. Let me talk to him just to get him out of the way. I don't want to get too close up here. I don't even have a gun. I don't have a gun set. There is something bad that will get me right here. Um, okay, this is how you set your weapons too. Best pistol at the start of the game is this weathered 10 millimeter. And then you, you can go to press any of the numbers or that's a d-pad on a controller um let's see one three four five six seven eight i want to put this pistol on the number five slot so i'll press the five down and then click on it and put it there i want to put this other pistol just in case i need it in the three slot yeah and also have this machete i'll put that in the eight slot just in case I need to get myself out of something when I don't have any ammo. Um, laser, I think is six. I always put these in the same general area. Get a grenade launcher. That's part of one of the DLCs. That's cool. Um, put that in up there. And my shotgun, I'll put in number four. There we go. You notice I'm leaving number seven open. It's because I'm going to be getting a rifle here real soon. I'll put that number seven. Okay, so number five is... Oh. Dang it. Number five, right? Oh, wait. That's not five. Is that five? There's five. All right. I think I'll wait for him to come down to me. Because there's a little scorpion running around here. 
know where he is. Maybe he doesn't come into play yet. Hey. Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? I'm feeling fit as a fiddle, too. Thank you very much. Thanks for digging me out of the grave, dude. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Well, I'm no stranger anymore, dude. We're pals. How'd you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Right quick. I haven't seen a like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Well, golly, Jay Wellickers. Happy trails. Yeah, Happy trails to you, too, sucker. So, yep, that's Victor. He's around a lot in the game. <laughs> and I'll just leave it at that. There's other stuff you can loot in this town without getting a bad karma. Um, anything that's in red, I'll show you in a minute, you don't want to mess with. There's a couple boxes in here. Oh, that one's empty. At the beginning of the game, you might want to loot anything that you can loot. Ooh, sensor module. Anything that you can loot without stealing. Um... And sell it to yeah see that's stealing it's in red like that when you point at it this is somebody's crop you don't want to take their crop you get the town angry at you unless you want to be a bad guy unless you want to be a thief and a general screw up um, but yeah here's some sarsaparilla back here I think there's about four crates of it that are non stealable not stealable there's some crates up front that are stealing uh, workbench, kind of like the one in Fallout 4, but you can't make as much. Can't make anything really, hardly. There's some stuff you can go through it. Uh, stem packs, that's a good one. Super stem packs, weapons repair kits because your weapons, unlike Fallout 4, your weapons uh, deteriorate over time and get a bad. The worse the condition, the less they work you know the less damage they do things like that your weapons and your armor and you have to repair them constantly so it's good to have them them repair kits also see here's something i came i don't know why i ended up with five drained energy cells those are for the the laser pistol that I got um, if I click on that and hit accept uh, just a right wait where to go where to go just hit a uh, with every four drained energy cells you can get one charged energy cell so recycle recycle the world will not be in this better shape if they just would have recycled in the 50s oh okay enough of my Al Gore freaking crap Okay, so, yeah, and this is a weapons reload bench. You can break down your current ammo if you're not using it and make other ammos, but there's a lot of penalties and there's a lot of different types of stuff that you need to do it. There's, like, powder for, for rifles, powder for pistols, primers for large pistols, small pistols, rifles. Oh, it's so much fucking confusion that I just pretty much say <laughs> on that shit. Um, yeah, here's the stealing crates. You could actually look in one of these, press E. As long as you don't take anything out of that, you can see what's in it. And I'll press E to exit, and it's not stealing. Uh, you're not going to get in trouble for that. You're not going to get your karma level, which is a um, system that's in the game. There's karma levels, and then there's a reputation level. Karma, good. you have good karma, bad karma. That's probably neutral at the beginning of the game. Pretty sure it's over here. General. Yeah, I'm neutral 
that's my karma level. Um, you can get a good karma or an evil karma. And uh, I think once you get into the evil zone, it's really, really hard to get out, if not impossible, to get back up. And uh, your reputation, I don't have any reputation yet. That has to do with all the different settlements and all the different factions and things like that. You can get it all the way from despised, I think, or I don't know, I think it's called something else, all the way up to idolized. And let me put my gun away. All right, let's go in here for a minute. Actually, you know what? I don't want to talk to this guy at the general store yet. Um, I think the first time you talk to him, it's a kind of a leveled thing. Um, he has different items that he can sell you, and at the beginning of the game, he's, you're not going to get anything good unless you get a couple levels first. I'm going to see if I can get up a couple levels before I do that. Here's Easy Pete. Let's hey. talk to him. Howdy. What Howdy. can Easy Pete do for you? Howdy, Easy Pete. Uh, do you know anything about the people who attack me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots, as as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Yeah. Why well, they call you Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get... Well, this is nothing. Okay. Pro prospecting like digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech. He doesn't like the word scavenging. Wait, I see it's <laughs> Okay. You're finding anything good? Nope. Nope. Okay. What's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Uh, if he didn't already say, or if I pa pa pass it up too quick, NCR is New California Republic, which uh, in Fallout 1 and 2, I'm pretty sure they came into play a lot. They're the government for the West Coast area. And the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take Kaisar over Hoover Solsay. Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. No, I don't. Okay, what's so important about the dam? This guy, the only reason I'm going through this, I'm going to probably skip through a lot of it on the other people and a lot of it, maybe even some of the stuff from him. But um, he has better information than most about the backstory. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Okay. What do you use big horners for? The meat. Meat and can find yeah. That's those big-ass bulls that are all around over here. Uh, what do you think about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Yeah. Keep your gun head. Okay, yeah, those big horners. You've seen a few of them when I was running around. They also still have the two-headed Brahmins, too. They're around. The big horners are more prevalent in this game, I think. Oops, excuse, excuse me. Alright, so this starts the tutorial. 
Probably should have saved before I walked in here, but I can save after, I think. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Sonny smiles. Sonny smiles. Are you smiling, Sonny? You don't look like you're smiling. You look like you're just... Oof. Okay. Doc Mitchell says you teach me a few things. Okay, I don't want to... Know about that yet? Uh, yeah, I need to get to Prim. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Yep. Yeah, Prim's the next town that you go to after this town the safest town to go to put it that way if you don't want to die at the start of the game go to prim next when you might die there too so but you have a bigger and better and worse chance of dying not worse chance better chance of dying if you go any of the other three or four directions hey i'm a little short on caps is there any work not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's stuff. always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Yeah. Yeah, she gave me some stuff to go to the schoolhouse. At, I passed it up a while ago. Um, locksmith, so you can break into the safe, and some bobby pins to break into the safe. If the lock's too much for you to handle... Reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. And bow pins. You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Yep. And... Always happy to help someone down on their luck. What do you do around here? I hunt geckos, mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Let's talk about the area around good springs. Sure. What do you want to know? Other towns nearby. Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. Yep. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Yep. That's, uh, yeah, if you go west, no, east, east from this town, you run into the I-15, which is a real, real, um, freeway. And, uh, it goes north towards Vegas and south towards California. And if you go north on it, you run into a quarry and it's full of death claws. There's a whole herd pack of them up there in the quarry and then all around the outside of the quarry too. There's a lot of a lot of them roaming around that area. So yeah, you don't want to go that way unless you can outrun some death claws because they will kill you quick at the beginning of the game. So only options to go south. Uh, what kind of critters are out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs. Yeah. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty... Yeah. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. Yep, there's some giant scorpions up there. The New California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy. But the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. And all I want to know... Oh, wait. What does the NCR keep you safe from? Well, the wildlife for one thing. Roddy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. Know about the other group? Got a funny name. Call themselves. We already know I hear this. rumors. That's about it. Supposedly they keep slaves and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. Not rumors. But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful true shit, here. True shit, dude. Less uninvited. Yep. True shit, dude. 
If you want to know anything else, just. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, Doc Mitchell told me you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Yep. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. I'm pretty sure, okay, if you watch the opening sequence, you know that I got shot in the head. I'm The character in here, like, it's called, you're called the Soul Survivor in uh, Fallout 4. You're called the Lone Wanderer, I think, in Fallout 3. And here you're called the Courier because you work for the Mojave. What's it called? There's a thing over here. Mojave Express. Oh, actually, I need to click on this. This, you, If you see any of these, click on them, because they'll link them to each other, and you can use that to store shit in. Actually, kind of, it's kind of a weird thing to do. But um, you can click on this and send shit to one of the other towns. So if you need it later, if you're, like, overweighted down, you can't move, and you don't want to get rid of the shit that you have, you can do that. Also, there's a safe up inside that... Um, gas station right there behind the counter on the floor I'll show it probably in the next episode or two uh, you can store shit in it's about the only thing at the start of the game that's safe to store stuff I've put stuff in there at the beginning of the game I've had I've played this game four times all the way through um, except for the last battle but uh I'll get to that some other time. When I get to there, I'll, I'll tell you more about that. But I put stuff in there at the very beginning of the game and then played two or three hundred freaking hours and came back and it's still there. So that's a fairly safe place to hide, to put things. If you put things in any other container around the game, like say these garbage cans or... Well, these are stealing, so you don't really want to do those, but... You also have these crates back here. I'm pretty sure that a lot of them will respawn. And once they respawn, they'll delete everything that's in it. And then just respawn new stuff in it. So you'll probably lose anything that's in any other container in the game. Except for up there. And there's one or two places other... I know the DLC that I put in with Willow, she has a tent on just south of Prim that you can store stuff in any of the containers that's in that. And also later in the game you get to a town called Novak and uh, you can rent a hotel room there and you can store stuff in there. Yeah, for the beginning of the game though, that's the only place that's safe. But safe should be safe. I hope it is. <laughs> All right. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. She just gave me a varmint rifle. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, let's try aiming. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Oh, this is a lot easier to aim. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Crouch, crouch. There we go. A lot easier to aim on a keyboard than it is nice with shot. a controller for some well, reason. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sure thing. I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Do I get to look at your boobies more? I'll follow you anywhere. Look at the way people run in this game. They glad they got the the animations down a little better in Fallout 4. I love this game a lot more. I like for the storyline. I actually like like this game a lot more than I do Fallout 4. Um, and some of the other things about the game, the mechanics of the game, are, seem a lot better to me at least. Fallout 4 has some advantages and some things that are really cool about it. But and some of the things that are that they really improved on. But overall, 
in the whole scheme of life, I rate Fallout 4 at about 7 or 8 on my favorite games, and this one is number 1. <laughs> all right, I'm going to save right here. I haven't even saved yet at all, have I? Come on. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. A snake. I can hear him. I can hear him. How do I do vats on the keyboard? Oh, okay, there's the guy. All right. I can't hit him from here, though. So how do I get out of vat? Turn right button. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Man, I haven't used a keyboard in this game in years. You can aim a hell of a lot better. Here he comes. Here he comes. Vat. There you go. It's not close enough yet, but let's try and E. Damn, that was bad. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, how do I get to the other one? There we go. Let's get his head. Because he is almost dead anyway. E. There we go. Come on. Come on. I'm getting eight here. All right. <laughs> Gotta get used to the freaking bats on this. Wasn't doing that too good. Detected. Oh, I can stand now. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Okay. Sure thing. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Her lips look funny when she's outdoors. I think that's something to do with one of the... DLCs that I, not DLCs, the mods that I have. It's a lighting mod. It makes things look a lot clearer outside. Otherwise, there's kind of a red haze to everything. Oh, dang it. No. This one. Yeah, there we go. What the hell? Ah, I'm in first person. Oh man, I didn't get any of that. Okay. I need to change guns. Where's number five? She went down that way. There's this lady over here. I gotta freaking try to save her. I should have. Oh, crap. crap, did she die already? Got it. Yes. How to get down here without dying? Oh, glad. Okay. Holy moly! If you hadn't come here like you done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Thank you. Okay, this is the reputation thing. Um, you can read that. I'll pause it for a second. Pause if you want to read it because I'm closing it. Uh, reputation I've got accepted by Good Springs right now and the only way to get Good Springs to idolize you is by saving this girl that's why you should save before you do this thing because if she dies I don't think there's any other way to actually get them to idolize you they can they'll think highly of you I don't know what the next level down from idolize is you can get all the way up to that but you can't get them to idolize you unless you save her 
At least this is the only way I've found. I did everything else right. In the game. And still not... In this area. And still not got them to idolize me. Until I've... One time I accidentally saved her. And then said, whoa, that's how you do it. Usually by the time I get here, she's already freaking dead. That's why I went over the top instead of following her. Because she follows around this way. By that time you get here, that freaking lady's already dead. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Yep. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Thank you very One much. One thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the oh, land. Oh, what are you going to show me? Making useful things for yourself. Oh. Interested? Okay. I thought you were going to say something better. Now. All right, then. I want to go see something better to get started. Going to want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard. And I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me and we'll get cooking. Okay. So she just gave me a quest to go find some things. 